All right, so we are going over the Maverick 88 today. We're doing an update video. We already did our first impressions. This is 500 rounds later. Let's see how it does. All right, so we have five different types of ammunition today. Uh, we have the Shooting Dynamics by Fiocchi, uh, 1165 FPS. We have Monarch with 1350 FPS. Federal over here with 1200. Remington, 1200. And last but not least, Federal Premium Grand Slam coming in at 1200 FPS. Uh, we'll put up all the specs of all the good details about them somewhere on the screen here as I'm naming them off. I don't know too much about shotgun shells, so I'm not gonna pre pretend like I do. So we're gonna start off with some uh, Fiocchi over here and then work our way. So let's see how she runs. All right, so we're gonna load her up here. That should be five. And yeah, here we go. Uh, just disclaimer here, we're gonna be shooting into this kind of ditch over here. The targets are off to the right. The steel targets are off to the right, so we're not gonna shoot any of that um, for obvious reasons. We don't wanna ricochet, we don't wanna to go to the hospital, but we're loaded up. Here we go. I haven't shot a shotgun in a while, so I did hesitate there a couple of times, but she ran just fine. Um, I don't think we're gonna have any issues with any of the ammunition just because it is a pump action. So kind of does the work for you right there. So we're gonna lower up uh, again with some Fiocchi, see how Skylar runs it, and then we'll move on. So same thing as Sean, we're running bird shot through here. Let's see how she goes. Nice and clear, runs like a charm. So now we're trying out the Monarch. We're doing 1350 feet per second instead of the 1165, like the Fiocchi, however you wanna say that. So we're just gonna try it out and see how it performs. All right, so we're gonna test it, changing it up a little bit. We're gonna try this paint can. Let's see what kind of damage she brings. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now that. Oh, dude. The, the, it just came back down? It just came back down. Oh my gosh, guys. That was quite a drop there. Okay. I felt a little shrapnel hit me. Hopefully, I didn't get green on me. So far, so good because I wear some of these clothes to work. So, don't want that to happen. <laughs> All right, so we're now gonna be loading up uh, the Remington. It's about 1,200 feet per second. Uh, but before we fully load it up, because I gotta stall you guys to hear our sponsor of the day, which is uh, what the, Lamont Firearms out in Flowery Branch, Georgia. They are the sponsor of the channel, not just for the day. But if you use code CGA10 on your next purchase, you'll get 10% off um, pretty much anything that you buy on their website. Go check them out, really cool dudes. And uh, yeah, thank you again, Lamont Firearms, for partnering with Conservative Guns and Armor. So after 500 rounds, uh, the Maverick 88 has done pretty damn well. So we've thrown a couple different types of ammunition through it, even slugs. One, unfortunately, we don't have any one ounce slugs. Uh, we kind of went through a whole bunch of those. So, uh, but so far, she's ran slugs. She's ran super high velocity, like 15, 1600 feet per second. She's ran buckshot, double up buck, bird shot, anything you can think of. By the way, she is, she is clear. I'll keep that open for all you crybabies out there. But anyways, um, no, overall she's done really well, 500 rounds later. Uh, really nothing, if anything, it's actually ran a little bit smoother, uh, kind of that break-in period. So love the Maverick 88, especially for the money. One of the best shotguns, in our opinion, probably the best shotgun on the market you can get at this price range. But enough talk, we're gonna load her back up and keep shooting. All right, so we're gonna try some Federal seven and a half shot. Obviously there's not really gonna be many feeding issues with a shotgun that's a pump action, but we're just gonna run it to you anyway, just show you everything works, there's no problems with it, and uh, Mossberg's doing great so far. Paint can magic, we got orange down there. Let's try it. Wow, so shoot. Oh crap, let's not get that on my boots. Hello, that's rough. That is quite rough, everyone. It works, it paints. Use your shotguns, don't spray it with the can. 
All right, we got the Grand Slam. Thank you, ma'am. Oh boy, uh, this is never fun, but here we go. Yeah, when, when you're able to brace for it, it's not so bad, but when you get caught off guard, uh, you know, but you definitely feel that in there. Kentucky Ballistics, I feel you, man. What is love? All right, so we have a paint can down there. We're gonna use the Grand Slam, thank you, ma'am, and see how she paints the pasture. Here we go. What is love? Wow. Okay, very impressive. <laughs> Woo! All right, so this is really what happened on that Sunday morning uh, for Chris Woods. Uh, what really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Woods' death? <laughs> well, if y'all get the reference. But anyways, that Grand Slam round kind of just pounded into the ground as well, even after hitting the paint can. And we do realize that the paint cans are not AR-500 steel, so it's not going to just... I don't know where I was getting at that, but anyway, the point is uh, to kind of show you the damage difference uh, between the different rounds. So obviously the green one, the first one, kind of just split it in half. Second one, same thing, peppered it. Grand slam round kind of just leveled it. There is nothing left. There is no can. Um, the only thing left is this guy right here. So kind of show you a damage model here so you can tell with the other ones as well um can is still there you can tell that's a can but this guy not so much so yeah that was very interesting all right guys so the maverick 88 has done very very well for us no real complaints um obviously this is more of the home defense self-defense at home truck gun whatever you want to call it but it's one of the most compact versions of it you can get this one does not have the full length tube. It's only five capacity, but you can get the one that's got like, I think it's a 20 inch barrel and the tube basically matches the same length. It gives you like seven, seven shot shells. So very, very nice. We will hopefully get to that one because I really want that capacity. But overall, man, just listen to that. I mean, home intruder hears that, everybody knows they are gonna go running. So not much complain there. And I just, I'll just do that all night long. But anyway, great gun. Hard to beat for what is like 230 bucks. You can pick these up, maybe 260 at the max. Go get you one if you want a good shotgun that's not gonna blow your back out on price. What is okay? Fair. We are clear. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. We had a lot of fun making it. Uh, again, the Maverick 88. Uh, if you can get a good deal on one of these guys, I highly recommend it. Um, probably one of the best shotguns on the market, especially for that price range like we talked about. Uh, very reliable and it's made by Mossberg, which there's a lot of conflicting, you know, some people like them, some people don't. But from our experience, every time we've picked up a Maverick 88, um, it's done just fine. So hope you enjoyed the video. Again, code CGA10, Lamont Firearms. Thank you again, guys. 10% um, off on your next purchase. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, stay tuned. Have that notification on because we have some big, big plans coming up uh, very soon. We'll be showing you guys. Um, probably next week you'll see a collaboration with a fellow YouTuber. So, again, stay tuned for that. And we'll see you guys in the next video.